Okay, so I just need to um, rant for a minute here. So I got a text from, we'll just call her my stepmom because that's kind of what she is. And it was cute little pictures of my sister. And she's just sitting in this toy chest with all her toys around her. You know, just kid things and it's so cute. And I noticed the toy chest. And I'm like, that looks kind of familiar. I was like, in fact, it looks just like one I had in my room up in Washington. And then I thought, I was like, no, they must have just gotten a new one because my chest was filled with all my things that was supposed to be shipped down to me after I moved. Then, <laughs> then <laughs> she texts and goes, isn't the toy chest cute? It's one that we salvaged from the cabin before we left. So this means, oh, 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 they literally, oh my God, I'm so mad that it's just funny to me that these people literally took all my things out of this bin and took the bin with them, but left all my things in the foreclosed house in the middle of the woods man i am so livid about this i mean i came a long way where i'm like yeah it's just stuff i got rid of you know but now that i'm having a baby and a lot of those things in there were from when i was a baby that i wanted to hand down to my baby <laughs> sorry oh like i'm just so mad like why why couldn't you just Bring me my stuff. If you're taking the chest anyways, like why wouldn't you just leave my things in there and give me my things that you said you'd give to me? But no! <laughs> you take the chest after emptying everything out of it. I separated everything before I moved and I put everything I wanted in the chest. Because I'm like, if anything, they won't leave without this really nice chest. And that's where all my stuff I want will be. But no, they brought bins full of everything else that was scattered around my room that I, were clothes that were moldy, clothes that I didn't fit in, was literally just pieces of scratch paper that had crap writings on it, or journals that had crap writings in it. Nothing of real significance to me, like, Everything that I went through from that bin, whatever I took back with me to my house at the time, I don't have now because the clothes don't fit. There was no point in that. I got rid of those that day. There was a couple stuffed animals that weren't really significant to me. And then a bunch of pieces of scratch paper that had stuff framed when I was like 11, 12 years old that really isn't that important to me. But you know, the one bin that specifically had everything I wanted, my scrapbooks, my baby stuff, years of scrapbooking that I can't show my baby, and all this baby stuff I can't pass down to my baby. Because you took everything out of the bin that specifically was supposed to come down here and took the bin for yourselves. Uh, I just needed to get that off my chest. Like I'm slowly working on forgiving my dad, but like, seems like every time I forgive him and I'm slowly working things better, something like this happens. And then it's just like, you know, you were gaining my trust back slowly, very, very slowly, and now it just plummeted right back to where it was before. I, I just don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. Thank you for listening to my rant. Um, I have not been on YouTube for over a year now and um, a lot has happened in the last year and I want to do a video It'll probably be multiple videos, just trying to catch you guys up on my last year, because a lot has happened. 
but I want to separately from my ranting <laughs> just kind of tell you guys where I'm at now I am 33 weeks pregnant with a cute little boy I will insert the ultrasound photos here I am in the process of moving once again a year later we're moving uh, I don't think I had you guys part of that um, I wanted to but it was just so much going on this time last year that I just did not get around to it but I'm working on moving I have a lot packed still have a lot more to go um, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get back into YouTube again and I'm working with this great new company called, well, the company is not new, I'm just newly working with them. <laughs> um, it's called Senegence and they have amazing beauty products. And so I'll be doing videos through that with them. And the place I'm moving to is only temporarily while I'm on maternity leave. Realistically, I quit my, well, I got fired from my job before I could quit my job. And then I'm gonna take as much time as I feel necessary for maternity leave and as much time as I want to spend with my baby is kind of where we're going with that. <laughs> I'll be hopefully all moved out within the next couple weeks. I'm going to be doing probably a lot of videos this month because I have so much going on but I feel like that's a good time. I don't know if I'll post them all this month but I thought I could get this at least post it and be like, I'm back for now. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts after this baby comes, but I would love to document as much as I can. So I brought my camera back out. I have a specific little bag so it can always be with me. I found my tripod stand last night, which thank goodness. And I do want to do video. I mean, there'll probably be videos where it's just like pictures on pictures on pictures just going over the last year because I do want to go over the whole year with you guys but I just wanted to bring this back it's October <laughs> like this is my month we got the state fair coming up and Halloween's coming up and I can't wait to show you guys my Halloween costume I actually need to make Max's costume still but it's gonna be great and I want to show you the process that I'm going through with moving I'm getting ready to have this baby in the next month I want to get this back going. I have my new company, the company that I'm newly with. <laughs> it is so many good things are going on. And even though I started this video with like a really negative rant, it just kind of like threw me off today because I wasn't planning on doing a video today. I was going to do stuff for Sun Agents. Uh, I have my launch party going on today, but it was a great way for me to get back into this because it really did. Once I get that camera set up, I don't want to stop because I love doing this and I really do love you guys because and most of you guys are my close friends and I love you all so much and the family that watches, like, I appreciate you guys like no other, like, I could not have asked for a better support system through this pregnancy between my family, my friends, my boyfriend's family, I don't know if he wants his name mentioned, most of you know his name, but, um... I could not have asked for a better support system through this and it's so great having like my friends that are pregnant and having babies too and we're all having boys and my aunt and uncle who just had their twin boys a few months ago like it's been such a great experience this last year and just the last eight months alone have been the has been the best ever even through all the negative things that I've dealt with with this pregnancy like overall the pros have outweighed the cons and it's just been it's really been great and I really look forward to sharing it all with you guys I know 
I would have loved to have like kept up throughout the year but um, it was just it all went so fast and I've been so busy so I'm hoping this marks a new start and I get to do that now and I get to continue on video vlogging videoing videoing for you guys um, I want to do vlogging with for you guys more and um, now that I have the free time to do so minus the moving and my you know, baby and everything but I will be a stay-at-home mom so I will have time to do videos and I am so excited <laughs> and I love you guys and stay tuned for when my next video is coming bye